Hey there! In today's video, we're going to explore the complex and challenging experiences of those who've grown up with a narcissistic parent. This specific upbringing can profoundly affect one's self-image, the way they interact with others, and their emotional well-being overall. Growing up, a period critical for developing our sense of self, is deeply influenced by having a narcissistic parent. This struggle is not only unique, but also leaves a lasting impact that carries over into adulthood, complicating how one perceives themselves and their relationships with others. This situation often triggers feelings of profound loneliness, a sense of being misunderstood, and a desperate search for validation. The adverse effects can be extensive, leading to psychological problems such as anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem, but the good news is, understanding these challenges is the first step toward healing. Today we aim to shed light on this topic, bringing together expert opinions, scientific research, and real-life experiences to provide a holistic perspective. I'm here to help you through these tough times, ready to give you tips and tools to get better and do well despite the problems. But don't worry, I'll explain the issues to you and share some tips and tools to help you cope. Growing up with a narcissistic parent often implies that emotional support is not readily available. These individuals, referred to as narcissists, are typically consumed with their own thoughts, desires, and needs, leaving their progeny feeling overlooked and neglected. As a consequence, the young ones may experience challenges in their lives due to this lack of emotional support. This could manifest itself in various ways like low self-esteem, difficulties in establishing emotional resilience, or a sense of insecurity. The child might grow up constantly doubting themselves or their abilities, struggling to cultivate emotional fortitude or resilience. It's not that they aren't strong. Rather, they've been molded by an environment that didn't nurture their strength. Resilience in these cases becomes a hidden trait, waiting to be discovered, nurtured, and developed. However, it's paramount to remember that this doesn't mean you're not strong. Many who face these trials are incredibly resilient. They just need a little help recognizing and nurturing their inner strength. In families dominated by narcissism, children can often feel invisible or assigned rigid roles that don't reflect their authentic selves. This experience can be incredibly damaging and potent, creating a sense of invisibility that can ripple through their lives. It is as though they are mere actors, trapped in a play that was written without their consent. These roles, detached from the true essence of their identity, are like restrictive masks, preventing them from expressing their genuine feelings and thoughts. This imposed silence can lead to a profound feeling of insignificance, as though they are secondary characters in their own life story. This sense of marginalization of being pushed to the fringes of their own existence can lead to a profound and enduring sense of solitude. They may feel as if they are in a crowded room, yet utterly alone. This loneliness is not a reflection of their worth, but a byproduct of the narcissistic environment they were raised in. However, it's fundamentally important to understand, acknowledge, and internalize the notion that you are a seen individual and your feelings, thoughts, and experiences are entirely valid. You are not invisible, as narcissistic influences would have you believe. Recognizing your intrinsic worth beyond the confines of these imposed roles is a significant step toward healing. This process of self-acknowledgement and self-realization is not quick or easy, but it is a journey worth embarking upon. Such is the path of healing from narcissistic family influences. Narcissistic families often use emotional manipulation to control their members, which can lead to self-doubt and isolation. This is a harsh reality which countless individuals are forced to grapple with on a daily basis. Living under the shadow of a narcissistic family can result in the gradual erosion of your self-esteem, making you question your worth, your identity, and your capabilities. It's a relentless cycle of subjugation festering within the confines of what should be a safe your family. But you must bear in mind that you are not alone in this struggle. Numerous individuals find themselves in a similar situation. The guilt and self-blame you may feel are misplaced. One can break free from this ceaseless cycle of emotional manipulation. It's not an easy path, but it's not impossible either. Empowering yourself is important. Building your self-confidence and seeking supportive relationships outside the family dynamic can be incredibly freeing. Narcissists typically have a hard time respecting personal boundaries, which can significantly disrupt the growth of autonomy and individuality. 
This lack of respect for boundaries often stems from an inflated sense of self-importance and deep-seated need for admiration which can make it difficult for them to see others as separate individuals with their own needs and desires. They often see others as extensions of themselves, rather than as distinct individuals, which can lead to a disregard for personal boundaries. When interacting with narcissists, it's important to learn how to set and enforce healthy boundaries effectively. This skill is not only important when dealing with narcissists, but it is also a useful tool that can benefit all aspects of your life. Establishing clear boundaries help you maintain your sense of self, protect your emotional well-being, and promote mutual respect in your interactions with others. More importantly, setting boundaries can lead to richer, more fulfilling relationships. By defining what is acceptable and what is not, you can ensure that your relationships are based on mutual respect, understanding, and equality leading to more meaningful and satisfying connections. In many narcissistic households, children are unfairly burdened with adult responsibilities. This unfortunate developmental situation often leads to children having to mature at a faster rate than their peers to cope with their surroundings. This premature growth, while seemingly beneficial at first sight, can create significant problems later on in life. The children end up struggling to connect with others their age, since experiences and maturity levels do not match those of their peers. This scenario paints a grim picture of how narcissism within a household can negatively impact a child's perception and interaction with the world. However, the silver lining to this is the tremendous potential for growth and healing. If you as an adult find yourself struggling to form age-appropriate relationships because of a narcissistic upbringing, you should know that it is never too late to start working towards change. Understanding these issues forms the foundation of this change. It allows you to face these struggles head on and develop coping mechanisms to navigate through them. By consciously working on these issues, you can slowly break down the barriers that have been hindering your ability to form meaningful connections. Empathy, patience and understanding can pave the way for you to build healthier relationships with others. Understanding and working through these issues can open the door to more meaningful connections. Narcissistic parents might discourage their children from forming other relationships, leading to a fear of abandonment. Recognizing this pattern can empower you to seek out healthy, supportive relationships that enrich your life. Narcissistic families may isolate their members from external sources of support. Remember, it's okay to seek out healthy relationships outside your family. Breaking free from this isolation can provide you with a new perspective and much-needed support. As a survival mechanism, children raised in these environments often unconsciously adopt narcissistic traits themselves, creating a mirrored reflection of the very behavior they've been subjected to. This may manifest as a lack of empathy, a need for admiration, or an inflated sense of self-importance which can hinder their ability to form close, meaningful relationships. However, it's important to remember that these traits are not set in stone. With awareness and a commitment to change, one can break free from these patterns and cultivate healthier interaction dynamics. Growing up, if you always had to vie for attention, learning to value and soothe yourself becomes vital. The struggle for attention during upbringing often leads to a constant need for validation and the spotlight in adulthood. However, it's essential to understand that your worth is not determined by external attention or validation. Instead, learn to value and soothe yourself, to acknowledge your own achievements and feelings. Self-soothing is a skill that can significantly reduce feelings of loneliness and improve your overall well-being. Understanding these challenges is the first step toward healing. You're not alone, and there are resources available to help you through this journey. For those interested, I've included links to helpful programs in the description below. Remember, taking the first step toward healing is a sign of strength. Thank you for joining me today. Let's continue this journey together. And remember, healing is possible.